Today on fit to box channel I've got something totally new, something I've never done before and that is a female groin guard and for this I've enlisted the help of one of our amateur boxers, Kaylee. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel, I'm coach Simon and here on fit to box channel I bring you all things boxing equipment. Today is the turn of Fly and they have got a ladies groin guard. Uh, as I said in the intro I have enlisted a lady amateur boxer to help me with this review because obviously I can't wear this. So let's have a look at it, let's get it out. Obviously you get the Fly box, love the Fly box, what they come in. Also you get the Fly bag, again always great bag and then just to show you the actual ladies groin guard so let me move those out of the way so as you can see there a very different shape in terms of a groin guard to what we're used to on the channel which is normally the men's ones obviously the men's ones got a cup there and ladies don't need that so you have got in the black and the gold with the fly emblem there and now I'll just bring it round show you at the back as well you've got the elastic at the rear with the lace you've also got these that hang round underneath just underneath the uh, back of the legs and then you've got the front protection here at the sides here here and here as well And so a lot of girls in the gym don't feel it necessary to wear a groin guard. There's a lot of lads in the gym as well who also don't wear a groin guard, which I find is ridiculous. I can't understand that. I never would spar without a groin guard. When it comes to girls, though, um, I think it's because they think they're going to be uncomfortable. They think they're going to be uh, sort of a bit bulky. What Fly have done is they've bought out a lightweight, super stylish groin guard for girls that they can wear over shorts in sparring or underneath their shorts in actual fights. So the, as you can see there, and I'll show you the, the thickness. So the padding is good, but it is thin and it is lightweight. This is made of beautiful fly leather, um, which they use obviously on their gloves and also the male groin guards and head guards. So it's made from a beautiful leather. It is lightweight, made in Britain. As I bring that round and also, as Kaylee will touch on, how comfortable this groin guard is for ladies with sort of the complete range of motion uh, when they've got it on and also protection against those shots that are south of the border uh, especially when it comes to ovaries and womb 
uh, and below the belt for ladies it's equally as important not to get punched in those areas as as males and so that's why fly have done this there's only i only know of a couple of other brands that are even doing this so i think that the more and more brands will start to do female groin guards let's have a closer look at this groin guard okay so you can see the beautiful leather that they've used and then obviously there the fly logo with the icarus figure as you just look down the front there you can see the gold beading and the stitching and this is super lightweight when it comes to the scales 8.6 ounces for this groin guard you can get them in small medium large and extra large a small is 25 inches to 27 inches with for somebody who's got hips 33 to 36 and that would be a UK 6 to 8 dress size that's small medium is a UK 10 to 12 dress size hips 36 to 39 and waist of 27 to 30 inches and then we've got large that is a UK size 14 to 16 hips 39 to 42 inches or waist 30 to 33 inches and finally XL for sizes UK 18 to 20 with the waist size of 34 to 36 and hips of 43 to 46 as I bring so you can have a look inside there as well at the inside beautiful leather lightweight on the back here you have got the elastic you've got the lace there elastic the other side as well and then the rear of the leg um, you have got this elastic as well which joins at the bottom there and then what an absolutely superb groin guard that is for ladies okay so this is Kaylee Kaylee's been doing the testing for me with this fly groin guard so I'm just going to ask a few questions about how it feels obviously that's part of the, the actual review that I can't do uh, being a female groin guard uh, I will also in this video I'll go around all the elements of the groin guard and all the details but when it comes to the fit and the feel and how it performs in sparring that's where Kaylee has come in so this is Kaylee she's an amateur boxer for Telford Amateur Boxing Club um, how long have you been boxing Kaylee? Um, I started at the beginning of the last year so just over a year okay and then how many fights have you had? Uh, five amateur fights and I started off with a white collar Okay, and she's also, she won the gold medal in the Women's Winter Box Cup last year as well. So she's a very active amateur boxer at our club and she does a lot of sparring. And during that sparring, up until this point, you've never wore a groin guard, have you? Nope, not even tried one on. Okay, so lots of the girls at the gym, in fact all of the girls at the gym, don't like wearing uh, protection for the groin area or even for the chest area. I don't know why, they just don't maybe it's a comfort thing yeah okay so really they should have protection there because a lot of vital organs below the waistline of a lady and um, so really I would say that all female boxers do need to have a groin guard so tell me about when you have used it in the sparring how does it feel um, to be honest when I started sparring I've not noticed it and that is one okay. thing I thought I'll never wear a groin guard because of Oh, am I going to be able to move? Am I going to feel it? Yeah. Um, but this is quite thin, feels really good. Yeah. Um, so as soon as I started started sparring, no movement, no rubbing, it's yeah. just perfect. Okay, cool. Lightweight? Yeah, lightweight. Um, it's, quite, it, it's quite thin. I've seen groin guards where they look really thick on the pros, mm -hmm. and um, even though it's thin, it's still got full protection. Yeah, and also, what do you think of the look of it? Love it. Love yeah. it. I can't even fault it. Yeah. Really, it, really nice. It does look good, obviously we've got some footage in this video of Kaylee Sparring so you can see all around uh, the groin guard. Uh, she's saying how comfortable it is, also it's made of the top quality leather, made in England. It's a beautiful, beautiful item when it comes to equipment. Uh, one bugbear of mine is when I see uh, girl boxers, especially pro girl boxers, where they're wearing male groin guards, where they've actually got the bump at the front, it just looks ridiculous. This obviously still makes them look good in terms of being female also when it comes to the sparring as Kaylee just said there it's very very comfortable also so during the sparring 
have you ever been punched underneath at the waistline before you wore that? Yes. So I've been punched pretty much where it's protected now and even lower sometimes. Um, and it's very painful. I know that the men wear it for obvious reasons and the women kind of just think, oh, it's fine. We're not going to get as hurt as the blokes. Um, but it does really, really hurt and it hurts yeah. for a long time after. Yeah. Um, so when, when I was sparring yesterday, I did actually get hit low yeah. and I didn't feel a thing. Yeah, yeah. And I think the same for lads when they're sparring. Loads of lads don't have a groin guard before. They don't really think that they need one. There was a lad in here last night. He got hit twice, actually, below the belt. I've sort of said to him straight away, he needs to get a groin guard. We're going to try and implement in this gym that not only they have gum shields, but they have groin guards as well. And I'd like that to be for females also, because the last thing you want to do is protect your teeth, protect your head, protect your hands, and then obviously get an injury below the belt. So going forward, now you've used the groin guard, do you think you'll be using it, or will you just go back to, to not using a groin guard? A hundred percent. I actually feel more comfortable with it on. Okay. Um, so when I'm moving around, I feel quite good in it. Yeah, yeah. And also, under your shorts, how does it feel under your shorts? Fine. Because it's so thin as well, my shorts have got a, a sh elastic band. Yeah. So it just fit perfectly. Fantastic. Okay, if you just, if you just give us a, a bit of a twirl, let's turn around so you can see the lace at the back. Okay, so you get a good, a good fit at the rear. Uh, it's got elastic both sides like most groin guards. And so there's a bit of give. So as you, as you pull the laces, it does sort of mold round sort of the waist. And then if you move round, then you've got these, these bits here, which go a little bit lower. Okay, there. And then obviously the front protection as well. So thank you very much, Kaylee, for that. Um, it's great to get one of the amateur boxers to give feedback I, on the channel. It's not just my feedback, as you know from my Instagram and from YouTube as well. I get lots and lots of the boxers involved in the testing, so I get my views not only from myself but from several different sources to give you the best, most rounded review that I can give you. So this groin guard, what I'm going to do is the first female groin guard that I have scored. I am scoring it as a female groin guard. So the card that I've done is not to be compared to the male's groin guards on my website. I'm going to have a male groin guard list, which I've got already, and a female groin guard list, of which this is going to be the first one. And then as time goes by, if I get any more female groin guards, then I'll enlist the help of female boxers at the club to help me assess uh, what those those actually score. So uh, let's get up onto the screen, the scorecard. I've gone style, 96. Comfort, 97. Durability, 96. Performance, 97. Protection, 97. Obviously that, I'm giving that a rating of 97 for the protection for females, okay? So again, that's not comparable to the protection scores that I've given on the male groin guards. So protection, 97. Value for money, 94. So this is 220 English pounds. Uh, it's four to six weeks for delivery. 220 pounds, that might seem a little high uh, for a lot of boxers. If you're a professional boxer, then you actually do need uh, one of these. Uh, all I would say, even if you're an amateur boxer or a recreational boxer, if you have one of these, it will last your entire career. So if you're in boxing 10 years, you've only got to buy once one of these. It's not like uh, a pair of gloves where they're going to wear out. You're going to have to replace. 
This is a whole of career item. And so when it comes to value for money, I have taken that into consideration. So 96.1, five fit to box stars, the best. I've never seen a female groin guard this quality and as good as this. Just how it looks, how lightweight it is, and also how Kaylee has told me uh, during her spas and in the gym how comfortable this is. So one last little look round there. So check out my website, fittoboxchannel.com, and you will see on there, under the groin guards, you will see my new female groin guard list. And of course, this being the first one that I've reviewed, does mean a new fit to box female groin guard champion, the Fly Women's Wraith, at 96.1, five fit to box stars, absolutely think it's superb, I look forward to building on that list as we go forward as more and more brands start to cater for female boxing and the different equipment that females do need. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.